it's Janine and welcome to Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery channel. It is Thursday, October 4th and the question of the week is, I'm warning you now, there's going to be a lot of profanity going on and um, I have an outlook that is probably something that's a lot more common than I realize and I hope you can you know, feel a little less alone when you listen to my video um, and my point of view on this topic because, you know, Exit Melanie was so calm, cool, and collected about it and Pam and Tony were, again, calm, cool, collected. Um, yeah, me not so much. So here's the question. Um, how do you deal with the overwhelming emotions after weight loss surgery? Do you mourn foods you loved? Do you miss your old lifestyle? How do you deal with the emotional roller coaster that can occur with the sudden changes? So I made a couple of little mini notes that I'm going to address really quick. Um, you know, this is broken up into four parts. So let me deal with the food mourning and lifestyle first. Mourning the old lifestyle and mourning the food. Now. I am an Italian Guido from New York. You know, New York, particularly Italian food in New York, is infamous for having amazing pizza, uh, amazing Italian food in general. Uh, New York is infamous for cheesecake, New York cheesecake, everyone's heard of New York cheesecake. Bagels, okay, bagels. Um, you know, you you can't you can't walk a block in New York City without finding some Italian bistro that has better sauce than the bistro before it. You know, I mean, it's just the way it is. So, do I mourn those foods? I go through phases, and here are my phases. I'm not going to sugarcoat this for you. Right now, I'm going through a really bad phase. But when I go through the good phases, yes, I do mourn it. I do mourn the old food. I mourn bagels because, damn, they're good. You haven't had a bagel till you have had a New York bagel, a big, chewy, squishy bagel. Oh, and, you know, and I'm sure Pam and I, because Pam is from Chicago, I'm sure Pam and I, could have a throwdown about who makes better pizza, New York or Chicago. <laughs> but, you know, I, I'm always going to say New York does it best, and I'm sure Pam is going to smack me in the face for that one. But, um, you know, there's that, and, you know, we have so many little, you know, dainty, chic, bakeries with Lord knows what type of pastries and whatever. So I go through phases of missing all that bullshit. Okay? I really do. But I stay away from it. Hey! Sometimes I do. Right now, I am so fucking stressed. Okay? I'm... Right lately, the last week or two weeks, if I wanted it, I ate it. Man, I've been having a rough time with camera batteries lately, huh? Okay, so that's my food issue. Um, right now, if I want it, I eat it. I will give a shit who's in front of me. I will tear your ass down. Give me that cannoli. That's all I care about right now. Do I miss my old lifestyle? My old lifestyle, I was a couch potato slash TV empress. I lived off the damn TV. I was lucky if I ever got up except to go to work. That was my life. Do I miss that? Hell no. Um, I love my life now. I love that I'm constantly busy. Well, I love it to a point. Um, I love that I'm doing all these new things that I never did. I have my first 5K this Sunday, you know, um, ever. And uh, you think I could have done that when I was 400 pounds? Hell no. Hell no. So no, I don't miss that. 
Um, the emotional roller coaster thing. I am a severe emotional eater. Severe. Now I'm super duper stressed right now. Um, I just have a lot of things going on. I haven't walked in my front door once in the last two and a half weeks before 8 p.m. And I leave my house at 6.45. So, in the morning. My, my days are between 18 and 20 hours. I am so tired and stressed out and I have so much to do and I belong in 20 different places at the same time. And all of this, what did it make me do tonight? Buy a pack of Twizzlers. Can I, can I do something about that? Yes. You know what I can do about that? Go to therapy. And I do. I have a therapist and she helps me a lot. Now, I have, I'm not going to beat myself up majorly. Have I gotten better about this? Yes. I used to binge. Now, I just make poor choices. And there is a big difference on that. When I sit down and make a poor choice, I'll only have one pack of Twizzlers. When I used to binge, I used to make that poor choice, Twizzlers, and eat four to five packs of Twizzlers at once and eat myself into a sugar coma. Okay? So it has gotten a lot better. So I deal with my emotional roller coaster by dealing with my therapist. I do not miss my old lifestyle whatsoever. I don't really mourn the food when I'm in a phase of fuck you, I'll eat whatever I want. But when I'm in a behaving myself phase, yes I do mourn the food. Um, and really I don't have a way of getting around that except telling myself that I can have it on, you know, if I really want a bagel but I'm in a behaving myself mood, I'll tell myself I can have a bagel, you know, on such and such a date two to three weeks from then, and I'll just kind of put it in my little food piggy bank, and when I allow myself to have an off day, I'll go out and get a bagel. But again, I'll get one bagel, not 20 bagels like I used to get. Um, so I hope that that helps you a little bit. I hope you can identify with me you know, a little, um, cause, you know, I was watching Melanie's video and Pam and Tony's video and they just had it together and I'm watching them thinking, oh man, I am pathetic. So, you know, but you know me, I'm not going to lie to you. I love you. Thank you so much for watching Back to Basics Weight Loss Surgery Channel and I will see you next Thursday. I hope you guys have a great week. Bye.